Hi everybody, it's Murph from Impractical Jokers. Ah, son of a bitch. Hi everybody, it's Murph from Impractical Jokers. Thank you for joining for hashtag Ask a Joker. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching uh, the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to answer as many questions as I can. First question is from Bailey. She writes, do you ever get your jacket back? Was it a fair trade? Wow, look at that. You gotta give me a jacket, bro. Yeah. Or just go smack more cigarettes out of people's mouths. It's up to you. Okay, trade on three. Dude, deal. deal. Ready? He demanded my jacket, which was not fair at all. But at that point, I just wanted the punishment to be over. And I knew I had to crush his cigarettes. So I did it. Uh, but we had to talk him out of it. Uh, we gave him a free pack of cigarettes, the exact same brand. Because our, our PA had a bag full of lot, every brand of cigarettes, no joke. So they could give people a full pack to apologize, basically. So he was a funny guy, though. He was clearly screwing with me. Um, Farrah writes, Joe makes, Joe makes Sal fall down laugh, in laughter a lot. But have you ever done it? No. No. Q's made him fall down. <laughs> Joe's made him fall down. <laughs> Not me. Holly writes, are you guys able to relax on the IJ cruise in November? Good question, Holly. It seems like everyone would be wanting to come up to you asking for photos. So if you don't know what Holly's talking about, uh, this November, November 1st through the 5th, we're doing the second annual Impractical Joe... Impractical Jokers Cruise. It goes from New Orleans to Costa Maya. You can go to impracticaljokerscruise.com for all the details. Uh, it's so much fun. It's like a week of partying with fans in the Caribbean. Uh, so we're like singing karaoke. There's other celebrities on the boat. There's other comedians on the boat performing. We perform. Just surrounded by 5,000 fans. But we're out there partying with you guys, dancing, having dinner with you, <laughs> literally. Like I go up to people's tables and I eat with them. Uh, it's so much fun. We're, we're around 24 hours a day. Uh, it's the hardest I've ever worked in my life, no joke. But it is also the most fun week I've ever had in my life. So there you go. So I don't mind it. Uh, Natasha writes, did you actually take that actress out for a date? You're talking about, of course, when the guys tricked me and uh, there was an actress flirting with me the whole time. Yeah, we could make a whole day out of it. We could go to dinner and then go see Hamilton and that would be Are you serious? Fun. Yeah. There is a serious connection right now. Like, no joke. There really is. Okay, Blair, great job. <laughs> Thank you. And I thought it was real, and it wasn't. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, Ashley writes, Joe generally seems so calm. Uh, what on the show makes him really nervous? Does he seem calm? I guess so. I guess I'm high strung, Sal's neurotic, Q's an ass. Yeah, I guess Joe's the calmest out of all of us. What makes him nervous? I'll tell you what. You can always tell when Joe gets nervous. He just has this weird look on his face. He's like, you know? <laughs> his eyes get big. Oh. oh. Why is your lip sweating? <laughs> <laughs> because. Yo, oh, oh my god! god. It looks like your head's gonna pop off your body. I've never seen Joe like this. I think his wife gets him nervous. Like whenever we're thinking of, you know, when he came home, uh, when we wrapped his house up, I don't think he knew what to expect. I think, I think he expected to find his wife wrapped in Christmas wrapping paper too, which we asked her to do. She wouldn't do it. And we were going to wrap his baby, which I thought would have been thought hysterical if he hears crying. Like we would have poked a hole in the wrapping paper, right? So the baby can breathe, but he hears crying and he goes to find out where it's coming from and it's his baby wrapped up. I thought it would have been hysterical. We tried, uh, Bessie wouldn't allow it. So I think his wife, whenever we screw with his home, that makes him nervous. Uh, I think whenever we screw with his eating, it makes him nervous. Like if he can't have his cannolis, he gets very nervous. If he can't have a, a, a snack of some kind, he gets nervous. Tell him to find the I don't know. There you go. I hope that helps. But we don't want to keep him from having snacks because that's what's going to be on exhibit in the Smithsonian one day. <laughs> His belly. Okay. Thank you for watching Impractical Jokers. I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. Uh, I love you guys. Please come see us on tour. Go to ImpracticalJokers.com to see all of our live tour dates. We have some very, very, very big tour announcements coming up that you do not want to miss. So just wait. In a future web chat, I will announce it. Okay? And I hope to see you guys on the cruise. We love you guys. Make sure you watch Inside Jokes as well. It's so much fun. comes on right after this. Thank you guys. Love you. Bye. Son of a bitch. This is what we get. We got the elements. I got dog shit.
all around me because Danny Green told him at the front desk he wanted to film in my apartment. My apartment building said, you can't film in the building. I was in my pajamas. I was going to make it, I had a whole set set up. I was going to do this really funny thing in the apartment. He'll never know. Not, I'll never tell him. Instead of saying, oh, I'm dropping off equipment to Murr to go film today. He said he's filming in my apartment. They said, hashtag no. Now we're going to wait. Now I'm sitting outside in the rain on a, on a, a wet bench. A dog peed on my foot. It's disgusting out. Danny Green's fault. At least he cleaned his iPad. New clips every week of all our latest challenges and punishments. Which you people seem to find uh, exciting. Subscribe. I cannot promise to keep my shirt on.